Hey guys, this is Ulrich. Today I want to do a quick review of another guitar mini amp. Let's just call it that, even though I don't know if that's the right uh, descriptor. You know what? I'm gonna hold it over here in my other camera, right in front of my other camera, uh, because then you can see things much better. So this is just the box in which the device comes. There are different color options. I have that one right here but uh, they also come in, in gray. I guess that's a gray, right? Um, some general information, overview of the features. We'll go over everything in a moment. And I think that's pretty much it. So five effects, reverb, chorus, flanger or flanger. I heard both variations. I don't know which one's the right one. Overdrive and wow, wah. Uh, I guess as a reference to wah, wah. Uh, there is a built in battery in the device which means you do not need any extra bat batteries so it comes with a built-in i think it's a lithium uh battery uh which you uh, just charge via the cable that comes in the box speaking of the box let's do this unboxing thing now this is a thing on youtube people take items out of the box um so that's exactly what we're going to do now so what do we have in the box here a manual comes in different languages, uh, English, German, Chinese, um, all Italian, Spanish, I believe. Yeah, I think that's it. Then you have the device itself. We're going over uh, functionality, features, and all the good things it can do in a moment. You need two cables with the device. One, this one right here, um, is a USB cable, regular USB cable via which you charge the device since it does not require the use of batteries other than the battery that's already in there. So there's an integrate, integrated lithium battery in the device. You do, you do not need additional batteries. Lastly, in order, connect, in order to connect the device, you get the audio, you get this audio cable which just connects to the B6 and from there you can, can connect it to a speaker or in my case for demonstration purposes I will connect that to a Focusrite guitar interface to give you an idea of the audio and the sound of the B6 device.
one of the questions that I anticipate you guys having and we haven't talked about that is whether or not uh, uh, the the B6 effector is compatible to a Strat and yes the answer is yes it's very simple very easy as you can see here let me come a little closer so there's really not much to it it's easy enough to plug it in and uh, because it swivels and and you can adjust the position so it's easy for you as you play to see what's going on so you can bring that up all the way this is the maximum though i don't know if that's important to you so this is as far as it goes on a strat and obviously you can bend it all the way down so yeah no problem in that regard the other thing i know we talked about that but you guys uh, based on the reviews with it before on similar devices had a lot of questions around the battery and battery life so um i'll get to that in a moment as you can see uh the beat the bluetooth uh led is blinking which means that right now i do not have the device paired to a compatible Bluetooth device. We'll do that in a second. I want to show uh, you how, uh, what you can do with it. And that's not to say that's um, the only way you can uh, use, utilize the Bluetooth functionality. But 
Uh, before we get there, so battery, there is an integrated battery. You do not have to replace any batteries. So you don't have to worry about that. If the device runs out of power, you charge it up again uh, with, the, with the cable that I showed you before. Where is it? It's right here. Let me just get it for you. So you would just charge it via a regular USB cable that comes with the B6 effector. I cannot really meaningfully speak to battery life. All I can tell you is when I got the device, took it out of the box, I charged it for like 10 minutes or so. I probably didn't have to do that, but I thought, yeah, it might be a good idea to charge it at least a little bit, uh, which I did, and I haven't charged it since. And I wanna say for the past three days, I've been using it hours at a time for example, doing this video takes a lot of time uh, because I have to do a lot of takes and no problem whatsoever with the battery life. So I cannot give you scientific data in a sense of, yeah, it lasts for eight hours uh, at a time or 10 hours or two hours, I do not know. But I, battery doesn't really seem to be an issue and because it's so easy to recharge the device, I don't think you have to worry about it all that much. What we haven't talked about at all is Bluetooth, um, the Bluetooth technology. So right now that blue LED is blinking and which means the device is not paired. Let me just do that uh, quickly for you and with re you here on camera. All right, I have the device turned off right now with a long press on the on and off button, which is also the pair button, uh, the, your Bluetooth pairing button, the device turns on and you see that LED here blinking, which means it is not paired. When the LED is solidly lit, means the device is paired to compatible Bluetooth device. So all I'm doing right now is um, I'm in my Bluetooth settings. You probably can't see that the light is miserable in here, um, but anyway, I am now just connecting with my iPhone to the B6 device, which was which the phone found immediately. So no issue there. And it is now connected. I don't know if you can see it. I'll give it a shot. You see that B6 connected. So what I can do now is I can, for example, play uh, iTunes here as a song for my iTunes list. And via Bluetooth, I can listen to it. And you actually, you see the light has stopped blinking here, which means the device is now paired. And what I can do now is I can start a song here um, in, in iTunes. Let me just do that real quickly. All right, I just started a, I just started a song that's running. Obviously we can't hear anything right now, but we'll want to, but what we're gonna do now is we connect headphones. We connect our headphones to the B6 device. And I don't know whether you can hear it already, but I have my, uh, my USB condenser mic right here. So what I'm gonna try to do is just put the headphones close to the microphone here and I hope you can hear it. So again, what you hear right now is this connected by a Bluetooth. There is no wires whatsoever. Going to the device and from the device to my headphones. So one of the uh, questions that I got most frequently on the other mini amp reviews that I did was, do I need headphones or speaker? Yes, you do. There is no speaker here. So you need either headphones or your PC speakers. And again, for that purpose, it comes with this cable here, which plugs right into your, you know, headphone output here. And then you can connect it. In my case, I had it connected to my Focusrite interface, but you have a ton of options with regard to that. So I hope we covered everything. I got to tell you, I like it a lot. Um, I had it now for Four days, I want to say, used it uh, extensively over that time. 
Again, no battery issues whatsoever. So easy. You just, um, you know, I have that cable connected to my computer and then you just wait a little while. And I, again, I apologize. I haven't uh, done any tests how long it takes to recharge when once the device is empty. That might be an interesting metric and I'm happy to uh, put that in the description uh, once that's available to me. But overall, I like it a lot. Do I like it better than my other mini amps? Uh, I don't know. What I like about it specifically is the fact I feel that it gives me a few clean options. And with the Vox devices, I always feel they're hot, right? So I don't get a good, sustainable, clean sound. And at least some of the settings here, like the reverb and what was the other one? The wow, wow uh, uh, setting, for example, that's actually a pretty... A clean and warm and sustainable tone that you get there and for that I like it a lot so definitely something I would like you to check out if you feel that is if you're in the market uh, for for such a mini amp it's super light but at the same time and this is this is hard to show you on on camera but it's sturdy it's it's a good build and I like the design a lot quite frankly it's obviously personal choice personal choice. So go check it out. I'm going to put a link uh, below the video in the description with uh, buying options and, and up-to-date price information. But yeah, I hope we covered everything. If you have any questions, as usual, just post them in the comments below and then I'll get back to you right away. Till then, bye-bye.